What type of lookup function are you using? VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, or King of the Lookup function, XLOOKUP function is available now. XLOOKUP function contains up to six arguments lookup value, lookup array, return array, if not found, match mode, and search mode. The first three arguments are necessary, while the remaining three arguments are optional. For a simple example, if we want to return the name with serial number A003 in this table, we must first answer three questions. First, what do you want to look up? Obviously, the lookup value is A003. Second, where do you want to search? The areas of serial number are the answer because serial number is the lookup value. Third, what to return if we find the value? In this case, we want to return the name. After answering these three questions, XLOOKUP can return the lookup values. Does XLOOKUP deserve the title of King of Lookup Functions? The answer is yes. It combines the capabilities of lookup, VLOOKUP, and HLOOKUP. Both a reverse lookup or a lookup by row and will be no problem for XLOOKUP. Next, I'll tell you how powerful it is using an example. Take this table as an example. Suppose we want to look up Rico's department. The VLOOKUP requires us to adjust the sequence of columns in advance. However, a reverse lookup is available for XLOOKUP. We can get started. Enter equals XLOOKUP and press the tab key. Its syntax will pop up below. Similarly, we need to answer three questions for mandatory arguments. First, what is the keyword for lookup values? Enter Rico followed with a comma. The second question is, where do we want to search? Select the name column, and then enter a comma. Finally, enter the contents to return, the department column. Press the Enter key to return the corresponding department. XLOOKUP will update the lookup value if we change the name. We just find the row of Rico. How can we get her sales in March? The horizontal lookup also comes in handy for XLOOKUP. Enter XLOOKUP and enter the lookup value. March, and then enter the lookup array, which is the header row. Finally, enter the returned array. Note that both the search and the return array can be selected horizontally. Finally, press the enter key to get the answer. The lookup scenarios are much the same. We only need to specify the three required arguments to solve the problem. XLOOKUP's strength lies in its ability to conduct an all direction lookup. 2. Specify the error value. WPS Spreadsheet will return to an error code if the lookup value is not found. To solve it, we might nest other functions. However, XLOOKUP can return a specified content for a lookup failure. Take this employee sheet as an example. We will use a basic lookup function to search names by serial numbers. What will happen if the serial number is not on this sheet? Let's enter A111, which cannot be found in this table. An error code is returned. Now the optional arguments of XLOOKUP function can be put to use. Enter a comma after the three required arguments and specify the contents for the missing value. Don't forget to enclose the contents in double quotes. Thus, you can return to text values if the lookup value is not found. 3. Flexible Match Modes XLOOKUP can perform both the exact match and appropriate match. Let's look at four match codes. Zero means an exact match. If none are found, you will receive a number NA. Two means an appropriate match, allowing you to use wild cards. Minus one means an exact match. If none are found, the next smaller item is returned. One means an exact match. If none are found, the next larger item is returned. The above is the explanation of match modes. It's still difficult to comprehend with words. Here's an example of how to read them. Here's a list of employee performances with scores. Suppose we want to rate them by scores. The rules on the right side have specified the rating rules. 90 through 100 is A, 80 through 89 is B, and so on. Donnie gets a C for ranking because he scores at 75. Then enter XLOOKUP's fifth argument, and we will match the proper grade for all workers. Look at the rule table. 
The value in the minimum column corresponds to the minimum value of the score range. That's why we should choose minus 1 as the match mode. First, enter equals xlookup and press the tab key. In the first parameter, select cell E4 which contains the score. Select the minimal range H4 through H8 as the lookup range in the second argument. Because we'll drag the cells down, remember to hit F4 to make the range absolute cells. The third parameter will return the grade range J4 through J8. Don't forget to press F4 to make them absolute cells. The fourth parameter is the specified contents for errors. We choose to skip it in this case. The fifth parameter is the match mode. We enter minus 1 here. Press the Enter key to get Donnie's grade. Then double click to fill the remaining cells. By doing so, we can get the grades based on the rule. On the contrary, if we want to match the maximum value, we only need to change lookup array to the maximum value and the search mode to 1. So, what can we do with the code 2 for wildcard matching? Enter the first two letters of the name and replace the latter with wildcards. Can we look up the corresponding department? Let's quickly enter the parameters. Finally, press the Enter key, and the department is searched. Isn't it convenient? 4. The Practical Search Mode Many novices may mistake the concept of search mode for match mode. Listen to what I will demonstrate, and you'll recognize their differences. XLOOKUP's search mode has four parameters. 1. Search from first to last. Minus 1. Search from last to first. 2. Binary search and sort in ascending order. Minus 2. Binary search and sort in descending order. If the lookup value is unique, entering 1 or minus 1 will return the same result, but several lookup values will make a difference. Take this employee sheet as an example. Entry dates and other information are input. Suppose we want to find who checked in on February 4th. Enter equals x lookup and press the tab key. Then enter the three necessary arguments. Clive is returned because he ranks first in this table that enrolled on February 4th. If search mode is omitted, the system will search from first to last because 1 is the default code. What if we want to know who the last one that enrolled on the 4th of February is? Enter three commas in a row and enter minus 1 at search mode to search from last to first. Thus, we know that Rico is the last one that enrolled on the 4th of February. Search modes 2 and minus 2 apply a binary search algorithm and can search for binary contents. We won't give details in this lesson. XLOOKUP has numerous practical uses beyond what we mentioned above. For example, it can do batch searches and multidimensional searches. We will explore more in the following lessons, and see you next time. This is all about the XLOOKUP function. Did you get it?